Welcome back to Let's Play Endless Space 2 on Endless Difficulty with Custom Horatio Faction. I'm JC Proton and we're picking up where we left off before we were <laughs> interrupted by those pop-ups I was having. We're here on turn 87 and I think we were, uh, we were working on setting up the uh, build queue for this planet, for this system. So, yeah. Hopefully those pop-ups are dealt with. Uh, if not, I don't know. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Something like that. Something like that. Not exactly perfect, you know, whatever. It's just like it gets everything queued and we'll revisit it as needed. So we're three ambler away from splicing. I don't believe we have any in route anywhere. We've got one Calgaros on the way to AF, and I think. I think that's the only one in route anywhere that is a minor sieve other than that Vodiani. Oh, there's an AE right. There's one going to AE. That's right, because these guys are swapping. I'm glad I checked. So there's an Ambler in the way. Ooh, so we don't want to overproduce or we'll have 11. Ooh, I'm so glad I checked that. One, two, three. Yeah, okay, so which one do we want to not produce? Generally, whichever one has the lowest population. So what I'll do here to stop them from producing is I lift them both off world and you see right here it's at one turn from producing boom now it's off now it'll supposedly be a Horatio instead that sometimes seems to be a little bit bugged um, like one way to guarantee okay one way to guarantee that it doesn't tell him to go nowhere to cancel and that then it doesn't go anywhere you just hold them in your spaceport for one turn just hold them And then <laughs> the trick will be next turn I have to remember <laughs> to check. So then one will be delivered and then two will grow. That'll give me three, which will be eight, and then the two that are in the... That'll give me three from five to eight. And then the two that are in the spaceport will give me 10. And then I'll splice them away. Yes. As long as I don't forget, it'll be cool. Like three little Fonzies. Like, right, honey bunny? <laughs> good old Pulp Fiction, such a good movie. Okay. Let's see, and everybody's grown that's supposed to be grown, right? He's the only one who's not. Yeah. 
this so we're cool. Okay, that arrived, right? No, it didn't. Okay, I'll let it. I'll let him be. You just hang out. You hang out. You hang out. You can hang out. He's going to head over here after he explores. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah. Subterranean and ooh, curiosity. Those are dangerous. <laughs> Way out here on an isolated system like that. Pop a pirate out of there. Whee, you're dead meat. All right, let's give it a go and see what happens. Be ready to run. Okay. It was not a pirate. It was a population. Adamantium is cool. A pulsos population. Very nice. If it manages to survive all the way back to wherever he's going. Where is he going? He's trying to get to AF. AF. Really, AF is the closest, huh? That looks like a pretty hazardous journey. So if this guy was going to AF, how would he get there? Dude, that is a crazy, <coughs> that's a long way. <laughs> okay, it would be going through here. <coughs> through that pirate system, through the United Empire, And through Craver controlled territory. And even passing through uh, so fun space, which they've already shown that they're hostile. So <laughs> statistical probability of these guys arriving safely to system AF is just about zero. <laughs> they're not get, someone's gonna take shots at them and take them out. Ain't happening, man. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to set my expectations really low on that one. Really low. Okay, let's see. Well, he's got five probes. I guess I could throw send, send, send a few out, right?
Mm. I don't remember if there is a hostile fleet there or not. Ruins one. Basic pinch beam. <laughs> <coughs> Again, a somewhat useful technology um, early in the game. Uh, it's basically a it's a beam of 14 damage. I think it's a tier. It's a tier two beam. It's basically the corollary to the uh, sync laser. So it's the counterpart to a sync laser, essentially. So it's a tier two equivalent. I'm clearly using tier three lasers or beams right now, so not uh, not really ever going to use that. Yay! Oof. Swap. Yeah, so since the Sophon fleet is heading there, I don't want him there when I get there. I think that's the fleet that was here that I ran into. Let's see here. So what I want to find out is, is this still clear? So let me go over there from here. Let's look and see. It is clear. So this guy can go here. Um, and when I advance the turn, I'll spam the Move All Fleets button, and he'll probably get through there before this guy arrives. <coughs> so then if he's going here, then probably here and here. So he's going to work on going up this way. So if this guy is going to go over across this wormhole, then these two could go across these two wormholes. What is there over here that I need to explore first? Nothing, 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 nothing. There's something there. So then the question becomes, do I come down here and get it? Send a spray of probes out. Come back and go up there. I think that's probably the way to go. Yeah, probably that. This guy's cleared out of here. So far, he's got some fleets, bro. He is, um... Yeah. The other way to do would go here, here, up here, and then come back. So I think I'm inclined to have I think I'm inclined to have both of these. This one and this one. These two go here. And probably have one go one go each way. 
this one will come down here, hit that one curiosity, spray probes, head back up this way. That way I've got one explorer going down each of these wormholes. And then I have two over here, one going on one side and one going on the other side. And that should be a pretty good exploration crew for those last two constellations. Yeah, seems like a good plan. Okay, cool. Got a plan. We'll see how it goes. Uh, he's done. This dude... Oh, he can start doing something. Okay. That is one to explore. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Oh, yeah. He, that's, that's clear right now. on his way okay so if the unfallen are here in this constellation then the Vodhyani are 100% for sure up here 100% they're up here hundo percento ah uh, that's right he came across and he these two were together five huh well Let's shoot probes in the direction I'm not going. So I'm going to be going over this way. We can send three probes out. Because I get three more next turn. seems good seems like we're good pretty sure we're good up here this guy is we got two yeah I gotta remember not forget about those ambler man that I have parked in a starport should pick up two that should be just right okay so we're gonna hit let's watch where the actions happening over here was it yeah hit enter and then spam move all fleets clicky 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 safely made his move let's see if this guy can make it over here hopefully it's not good it's not got a fleet guarding it level 3 life form on an ash Shield wall battle tactic. That's a pretty good battle tactic. The Vodiani and our church acknowledge you. Yeah, we have made contact. Minds over matter. Swarming infantry. 
show location. Ah, when we flew by, okay. All right, what do we got here? We got uh, four probes. Got a dude over here. Exploration ship. Subterranean life form. It's a subterranean life form. No, it's subterranean and a life form. Oh. Endless research park and endless world is completed. Okay, let's take a look at this first. Subterranean was nothing. Wow, okay. Super Spuds, it was the life form. Okay, that's cool. All right, probe sprayage. See how many movement points is it going back? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So I'll be able to send two probes from here out this direction. Okay, so since he's sent probes out that way, then this guy can send probes this way. So we've got a nice spray here and a spray here. So we're covered. Anything that's hidden out here is going to show up. This guy will come up here and he'll send a couple more. One or two out here. Maybe just one. Whatever's needed. And then go down this wormhole. Yeah, man. Sounds like a good plan. This dude over here has arrived. Any privilege needed at all? Yeah, you could do one right here. That would be all right. If you wanted to get to here, what would be the fastest route? That actually seems okay. I don't think it's blockaded anywhere. Because this guy has visibility here and here, so that seems like a good route.
yes, yes, as I remember. Let's go back. Was it AD? No. There they are. Splice. Yay, there's the bonus from the Ambler. He's done losing population because he's only supporting uh, two outposts now. Three outposts? I don't know. Let's look. That one's being supported. That one's being supported. Oh, this one's maxed out. <clears throat> Just make him call food from Okay, let's take this food to the next level. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. It's going to be really crazy. Okay. Right now, his food is at 774. And the food shipments to other systems are 815, 794. 815 so we see we see how bananas that is right okay so it was like 774 whatever let's go ahead and add more food all right here we go get ready ready to have your mind blown Fourteen forty-six. It's another seven hundred food. <laughs> yeah, that's bananas, dude. Now it's like nine sixty. So yeah, crazy. Look how big these food ships are now, man. <laughs> another level I think that uh, oh yeah resources deposits yep that's always the go-to that and when as soon as you hit that level you can always go for that oh no research queued whoopsie here we go this is the one though you kind of I kind of do that on purpose because what I want to do is immediately get going on this tech it's always really expensive and it takes a long time so I do like the carryover thing for it and I'll probably come back and get that one like I want this one but it takes a long time to get so in the meantime uh, just for the short term I'll grab that just to help a little bit with the 
population, overpopulation woes. Okay, he's a senator, isn't he? Uh, yeah, he's a senator, and this one's a senator. So when I look on the laws, these two are the senators. And because they're senators, uh, like this guy is sharing this skill across the empire. Okay, cool. That's all right, man. Endless worship. Okay, so now we're doing uh, endless worship. Endless research park. We're doing the trade company. Oh, really? He built a frigate. Interesting choice. Wonder if that was by design or if that was a leftover. Mm, probably by design. Frigates. Because we're at five of six ships, yeah. Okay, that all works. So this one will be the fifth frigate, which is the sixth ship. Okay, and that'll give me a fleet. Interesting. There's a curiosity there. Subterranean one. Okay, I know what that is. Um, that's going to be a deposit of orichalcix. These um, quadrinics will tend to be on gas planets, and orichalcix will tend to be on subterraneans on difficult planets to colonize lava etc lava ice arctic toxic you know the hard ones uh, ae you got it colonized <coughs> Terraforms a desert. Yep, I like that. And is there no? There is not a um, at this point we have so many bonuses going on here. That like it doesn't really matter <laughs> the uh, how inhospitable the planets are my bonuses uh, approval are just so so high so sky high right now temporarily um, that's part of why I like the the uh, industrial faction it's really useful um, it's just really useful I, I dig it you can tell I, I, I like industry I'm a big industry guy uh, in this game anyway okay where are we at on resources 9.2 we need 22 for the next upgrade to, th to a level 3 and I think that event that bumper crop I got five turns left on that. On Mind Matters, I think I really only have one turn left on that. I'm not 100% sure, though. AC. 
What you, what you got cooking, AC? Got something we can do in one turn? Let's do something in one turn. In fact, you know what? How about this? We do that because honestly, this magnetic field generator most of that bonus comes from planets with anomalies, and there are no anomalies in this system, so that bonus will be minimal. We'll put you to work cranking out another fleet. <coughs> yeah, I see a lot of them are building that, so I probably need to review my build queues. I might have systems that really need to make some other stuff. Yeah, he's pretty short on his Q2. Two new systems. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, how many? Uh, where are we at on the Calgaros? I need five more. I don't think I have any in transit. So I think it's just five. Did that one arrive? It did arrive, it did arrive. Okay, 14. So let's go ahead and blockade. I'll post lost in seven. When do I get a food shipment to Corona? 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 Corona. Seems like. Oof. Really? Okay. Do, oh, mm -hmm. How many shipments are there? There's one automated ship. The one automated ship is here. Okay. Okay, two turns until the next departure. <coughs> so the one ship just left Corona, or just left AA towards Corona. Okay, the other ones I'm going to have from AD. I mean, I'll just feed him quickly. So AA has a big fat food shipment. AD is nice and close, 833. Boom. Yeah, and we'll get two shipments of 337 from AD. So when the second one arrives, it'll actually become a, the outpost will become a colony. And then eventually this one will arrive and it, that'll just be an extra free one population, basically. 800 food, 600 will immediately be a, a population. And then the next one will carry over to another third of a population. Okay, and how are we doing on Calgaros again? One, two. 
We get two next turn. That'll give us uh, seven. No, nine. So yeah, it won't. It doesn't look like it's going to be very many turns before the Calgaros get spliced. <clears throat> That'll be juicy. That'll be fat and juicy, man. Because then I'm going to have a stack of approval per pop, man. My approval per pop will go from plus one to plus four. Because I get three more. That'll be a four approval per population. That's going to be cool. Between that and the bonus I've got going for that uh, thing I just built. Endless Research Park and Endless World gives a plus 25 approval for 40 turns. Between all that, like, I don't even have to keep these new colony rules, but I'm going to keep them going. They're great. I'm just stacked on approval right now. Okay, so yeah, all that looks good. Graviton Shielded Laboratory. Go through and build those. We have enough Hyperium, 87. They're five apiece. Those are pretty good, man. They're, they are pretty good. They help a lot. And I think there was, let's look at this. Be the first to have three unique star system improvements in your empire. I have two out of the three, which puts me in apparently rank one of nine, so I'm first place. So let's just get one more knocked out. <clears throat> get that 75 deciduous just to get it out of the way. We'll do it right here with the analytical engine. And then we'll go straight into Graviton Shielded Lab. Yeah, that's going to be good. Shielded labs are really good. They're like way better than this magnetic field generator. They're like, it's not even close. And this guy at least has an anomaly, but I probably won't even. Use it until I terraform the system. Terraform the planet. So that one I'm probably going to do like here. That one it actually makes sense because there's a uh, that anomaly or curiosity, whatever it is. This is going to be way down here. I guess because of that, I can do that one first. Once again. Hmm. This. way down here. It's a very young system. It's, it's just a long way from being able to use it. Yeah, these guys. It's going to be a long time. It's going to be a long time, be a long time, be a long, lonely, 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 lonely time. Seven turns. I don't think he's going to have seven turns. And that's okay. I'm going to let... I'm blockading, but I'm still going to let these arrive. I just don't want them to... I want him at negative population so that when they arrive, there's no risk of it becoming his colony instead of my colony. Okay. 
this turn is done. Let's see here. throwing a bunch of probes out there trying to get good coverage make sure nothing escapes my notice trying to be thorough subterranean one okay this is probably You know what? Let's be cautious. There's no need to not be cautious here. <coughs> These guys are way out on the opposite side of the galaxy. If anybody I lose, there's no replacing them, man. <laughs> it's not happening. So let's go ahead and proceed with caution. Okay, we did Graviton Shielded Labs and Colonized Arctic. Okay, so we got that knocked out. Ultra Deep Habitats is next, man. Top level, the very highest, rarest curiosities. They're powerful. They're the rarest luxury resources that we can find. They're very high level techs. They are like tier five tier f they're like equivalent to tier four they're they're really like tier five techs they're really really good um there are not a whole lot of those curiosities out there though they're scattered far and wide they are not numerous <clears throat> so uh so usually i end up being in a situation if i've successfully explored the whole galaxy um, 
I've got like this situation where I have fleets that have gone all the way across and by the time they're at the far end of the galaxy that's when I unlock the top tier of curiosities and then they start working their way back um, from the far ends of the galaxy they start working their way back home and I'll make a few more scout ships here locally and start sending those ones out to to reveal and then you know maybe somewhere in the middle or whatever and you know there's a lot that die <laughs> usually I've been pretty lucky on this game I haven't I don't think I've lost any scouts none of them have died they've been attacked a few times but they managed to escape so rare curiosities are now revealed so I'll be able to see where they are I just won't be able to explore them yet okay cool so let's see where they are Ooh. there's a quadrant next deposit there See, it's a required curiosity expedition power one. And that used to be a lava planet. Okay, that's pretty cool. Tell you what, let's build an overwatch. Right there. and ESO. A, B, C, D, O, G, H, I, J. So, A, I. <laughs> Check out, this is going to be A, I, 1, 4. <laughs> four gas planets. is a lot man you don't normally see that many <laughs> that's that is definitely unusual i think i'm gonna go straight into slag and sledge although i don't know that i need to because i have a pretty good number of those deposits but whatever Okay.
Okay, I suppose that'll do. I J A J thirty. I did it this way because that way it would be really quick to, to grab that. Because there's one uh, anomaly or curiosity, then I'll go ahead and complete this first instead of that. And terraforming to snow is going to come around here probably. Cool. So I have the throw some population on these so each of those new systems will get a couple of populations just from the food shipments you could still use AJ could use a couple probably full on his own. A you can send a couple to AJ. Let's see, we're at seven, eight, nine. Yep. Well, that looks good. He hasn't come to fight me yet. Oh, it's zero percent. Okay. Okay, well, I would say let's go ahead and advance the turn and probably call it quits for this recording at this point. place in the void awaits you. 
Your expansive tendencies force our hand. Every other path has been analyzed and found wanting. It is time for conflict. Wow. That's for that quest. <laughs> okay, well that's not great. Um, yeah. We'll just, uh, we'll call it here and uh, we'll come back. We'll come back next time. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.